Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to implement 3D effect using AC Ethernet UI. As you see, once you are hovering that particular image or in the card, how dynamically it starts showing that 3D model and how the image is changing, how the text is changing, all of the things you're gonna implement right now using this library so you can go through feel free to go with the next chess and also with the Telwin CSS so what you need to do just to create a default next chess application feel free to go with the documentation to create the next chess application or either you can also go with their own documentation to create that next chess app then you can start with so now I already created one demo application for this purpose so it's the simple application after creating I just put a little bit design here with that 3d animation effect using AC Ethernet UI so what we need to do after doing that we need to grab this code so what I'm gonna do in the source folder I will create another directory which is which will be my components okay in the components I will create one more file which will be my car.tsx just paste the code and of course there we need to change that functionality we'll just put that as a card okay and also we need to get our those things i will remove this portion because we are not going to use this portion from here we need to create other properties and now what we need to do we need to install the dependencies so i will copy up till then because i am using a pnpm to create my application so i will use that pnpm and then i will install all the dependencies if you're using npm just run that command in your terminal or if you're using the yarn then just put that yarn then instead of i put add then the other dependencies okay everything is installed so this code is looking messy so we will follow through to the other properties <coughs> Now it's saying go to create one utils file then in the utils file create and cn.ts so I will go in my source folder and in the folder I will open just create one file uh, sorry directory which will be utils and here cn.ts now I will copy this code and paste it here just save it for right now then what is saying actually in the components create another file which will be 3d card.tsx so i will just go in the components i will create one more file which will be card content.tsx okay now again instead of creating any of the components i will just paste the value whatever i am getting from that ac ethernet ui so this is where the magic gonna happen this is the code how actually is rendering feel free to go from the beginning till the end to understand it better and sometimes just uh, comment it and comment it just to see how the value changing how the code is shifting so in my card i need to just import all the things because i give the name as a card content so everything going to be come from the card content okay and also the card item what is the balance okay nothing balance so now what we can actually do is to grab this and put it here so I will pass that card in my page dot tsx so, okay so let's let's come over here just uh, hit the refresh if it's giving a less uh, lazy loading as you see we are using one image from the un uh, unsplash.com and there is the height and weight uh height width is defined but we need to provide that host name to our next js so it will be in that next.config.mgx and here i need to get the um, uh, images and in the images uh, we will just go with that remote patterns so it can be multiple remote patterns so here i will just uh make that of uh, just that's the host name we need to implement okay and also we need to implement one more things which is going to follow through the protocol yes of course it will be an uh, it will be an https protocol so hit save and then just run your code let's see what's the error is giving through and if it's loading if it's getting more instances and it's difficult to loading just feel free to close the terminal then open it again so it will be just working in a very good fashion let's see again what is saying okay it should be gone okay it's loading just give a bit of time okay loading is done now let's see okay that's working perfect as you see 
now we can actually go through that to create a sign up pages to go through on to just uh, redirecting or can try it now so let's change some value over here let's see how it's working in the pages we should follow through in the car so now let's go through in the content so it will be let's just change something our 3d animation card let's save it okay as you see our 3d animation card and we can also put some of the text just put that lorem of 15 okay as you see that is working perfectly you can change the images you can change all the properties to view that and you can accelerate with that as you see it's very simple to use it and there is a lot of so many other properties and i love it especially because it's very simple to use and utilize and as you see that super simple animation is going on so go through with that library in that website if you having any difficulty to uh, implement any of the animation in your library feel free to let me know in the comments below and i'm gonna just help you out to how actually you can simply implement all of those in your next.js application or any of the react application how you can enter it so let me know in the comments below and feel free to like uh, the video and subscribe my channel because it will actually uh, give me a more boosting to create this kind of things in future okay so wish you all the best and we'll see you in next video